Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I, you know, I just decided to do another reading vlog. I think this is gonna be a week-long reading vlog. I have some fun reading plans for the week. Who knows how this is gonna go? We'll find out. Hopefully it goes well. I want to start off by sharing with you guys what books I intend to read in this week. The first one is Ghosts of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare and a bunch of other people. Uh, this is a short story collection in the Shadowhunter Chronicles. And this is the next book that I have to read before reading the final book in the Dark Artifices series. So definitely going to be listening to this on audio. I love listening to the short story collections on audio just because I find it so much like easier to get through them. Personally, I feel like I don't have to pay as much attention. I mean, I'm listening to everything that they say, but it's just easier that way than sitting and physically reading these bad boys. But I do enjoy it. I'm like 30% of the way through this already and I'm I'm enjoying it so far. It's not my favorite of the short story collections. Thus far, like I said, I'm only 30% of the way through, but this is my main priority. I'll probably be finishing it today or tomorrow. Today's Monday. I'm off on Mondays, so here's hoping I can, like, finish this tomorrow, hopefully. Anyways, once I finish that, I admittedly am in a huge Shadowhunter mood, so I don't know if you can see it, but I might pick up Queen of Air and Darkness. I have the audiobook on Libby, and I read these physically as well. I listen and read them physically and then I'm gonna tab it so if I'm in the mood to start that right away I might pick up Queen of Air and Darkness next but if I'm like okay maybe just take a little Shadowhunter break I'm gonna be picking up Bone Cryer's Moon by Catherine Purdy. Purdy? Catherine Purdy. I have this on Libby right now, so I'm like, hello, perfect time. I'm in a huge fantasy mood right now. Also, potentially picking up some more Saga graphic novels. I think I'm on volume four, so I may pick that up at some point. Without further ado, though, I guess let's just get into the vlog. I mean, <laughs> time to read. So I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little bookshelf tour, like a little really quick mini one, because I do probably want to film a bookshelf tour soon, but I never actually like showed you guys the full thing since redoing it. I am just like obsessed. Obsessed. I'm definitely going to be making these two shelves potentially, maybe just this one, another Shadowhunter shelf, um, just because the books are kind of going a little little crazy and I've just started collecting the paperbacks so I can have these lovely images um and we got my Rick Riordan my extra Sarah J Mass and Cassandra Clare books yeah and then these are like my blue and pink books which like I intend to buy a lot more pink books because currently the shelf is like empty and then down here, same thing, I've been making a black and red shelf, and like again, it only goes to there, because I don't have that many, I mean I have some more, but they are on a different shelf, but anyways, then I have my Funko Pops that either are still in the case, or just the cases um, for various ones up there, and then down here, 
I have some random like non-fiction memoirs, the Lion Game series by Sarah Shepard, little Chain of Gold preview, the Bloodline series, well some of them, and then the Vampire Diaries, and the Secret Circle, fun. And then we have my sci-fi and fantasy shelf, well, and dystopian, um, with all of my little saga Funko Pops that I've been collecting, as well as some graphic novels in the corner. My favorite shelf, uh, featuring Sailor Moon, obsessed with these. And then it's kind of just like pastel-y pinks colors with some Rainbow Rowell thrown in, because this doesn't really match, but whatever. Then we have lovely Sarah J. Mass, you know, you know how it be, back up to Cassandra Clare. But I, you know, I'm just obsessed, so I figured I'd show you guys real quick. I got all of the flowers from Michaels, they're like super cheap, so definitely check out Michaels. They're always having like sales too, um, like 60% off floral, whatever, but yeah, just wanted to show you all. Can't wait to like fill this in more when I am off of my book buying ban. So, yeah. Hello. So it is Tuesday right now, and I just got home from work. Went grocery. Well, I went to work, went grocery shopping, came home, and I have some updates for you guys. So I'm dumb, and I am trying to read the Shadowhunter books. Like, since kind of picking up where I left off in the series from before, I was rereading some of them and then finishing out series. And as you know, if you're not new to my channel, but if you are new to my channel, I am reading The Dark Artifices for the first time, and then I'm going to be reading Chain of Gold, obviously, for the first time after that. And I thought that Ghosts of the Shadow Market was before Queen of Air and Darkness. Like... I knew this book came out afterwards, but I thought, and I'm pretty sure I'm still right, that most of these short stories came out, like, online or whatever before Queen of Air and Darkness, and so I was like, okay, so I should read all of this before reading Queen of Air and Darkness. Well, no. I had even watched, like, those How to Read the Shadowhunter books videos. I think Emma Books has one, and... I don't know why, I've just rewatched it and she does say to read this after Queen of Air and Darkness, but I don't know why I thought she said it the other way around. And I just started a story that like low-key kind of spoils Queen of Air and Darkness, but like not really at all, like it, I only got like three pages into this short story and I was like, wait, this is definitely like either during or after Queen of Air and Darkness, so not gonna read that right now. So I made it like 80% of the way through. I think I only have like a hundred pages left. So, gonna be picking this up again after I finish Queen of Air and Darkness so I don't risk getting spoiled if there are major spoilers in here. But that's that on that. But then last night before bed, I had been listening to Ghost of Shadow Market all day so I was like, I can't do it anymore because that was a lot. I read like 500 pages yesterday. And I'm really, up until the point that I'm at where I can't read anymore, I really like it. The very first short story in it, not my favorite. Um, I do think it was, like, necessary, and I hope it didn't spoil me. I just felt some of the stories in here were so name-droppy, and not like, ooh, I know Cordelia Carstairs, boom, but just, like, it would be, like, Matthew told, George told, Adam, I'm making up half of those names, but, like, just so many names that I was like, oh my god, if you say another name one more time, I'm going to flip, and that annoyed me so much. But some of the other stories in here are great. Also, we follow one of my favorite characters of all time in this book, and I don't know if I can mention who it is, because I feel like that might be a spoiler. I don't know. But anyways, I didn't read that before bed. I read Saga Volume 4. I love this. Oh my god, wait. The end of chapter 1, or... Well, chapter one of this book, of this volume, I think it's like chapter 90, chapter 90, ha, chapter 19 overall, I was shook by the end of it, the last words, and then I went to bed, so I'm like, I need to pick it up right now, because why, it was like, it's like little minor plot twist, but I'm like, I'm sad, I am sad, if it 
ends up being true, I'm, I'm just sad. If you've read this, then maybe you know what I'm talking about. It keeps catching the ring light. Sorry, but ugh. Also, I would always see this cover and be like, who is that? Some new character. Ooh. If you read this, then you know. And I feel like we didn't see her in this before, this volume. I don't recall seeing this. I could be wrong. I, maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. But anyways, because I found out that I am a dumbass, I'm gonna be reading Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This was kind of supposed to be like the bonus book of this reading vlog because I did, I still do when I get to Bone Crier's Moon, but Queen of Air and Darkness has been bumped up since I could no longer finish Ghosts of the Shadow Market. So, this is a Queen of Air and Darkness reading vlog that no one asked for. Oh my god, so many things to do, and now I have to start Queen of Air and Darkness now? Ugh, I feel like I was making such good progress. I was like, read 500 pages in one day. We're living, we're loving. I'm gonna, I was like, I'm gonna read so much this week, and now... So, uh, I'm struggling. Okay, I'm gonna go film my... The Reading Rush TBR. Stay tuned, that's probably gonna go up before this video, but go watch that if it is on my channel. Okay, bye. currently sitting at my desk, edited my Reading Rush TBR, which was a fun time. Uh, I just read another chapter of Queen and Air, Queen and Air, Queen of Air and Darkness, and I'm really enjoying this, like, a lot. Uh, the Dark Artifices is easily now one of my favorite Shadowhunter, but the chapter I just read just, like, was not my favorite. Not because I didn't like the events that happened, I was just, like, I don't know, it was one of those, do you ever like read a book and you're really loving it and then you like put it down for a little bit and like granted I only put it down since last night, like I just worked today and then picked it up, but regardless, I put it down and like when I, where you pick up you're just like not in that same zone of like just absorbing as much and like and just inhaling it essentially so like it's it just feels like i need to like get back into it and like i don't i hate that i hate that that chapter was just it was not what i needed not what i needed i needed something to like want to keep me going for another 200 pages but now i'm gonna put the book down take a shower I'm gonna get thai food tonight i'm super excited for that and then maybe pick up again later tonight uh not positive. I wanted to read 100 pages a day because I don't intend to finish this in this reading vlog. I've decided I'm probably not even going to get to Bone Crier's Moon, which is really depressing, but oh well, what can you do? I have been listening to the audiobook for How to Be an Anti-Racist, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm about halfway, 50-60%. I'm liking it now. In the beginning, like the first four chapters. It's not that I was not liking it, I just felt that he was going on all these tangents and bringing up like claims and then not really like sticking to them. Not that he was like being hypocritical or anything, just that he would like mention something and then not give me enough details I guess as a reader to like fully grasp the concepts he was bringing up. I just think whenever I'm reading a non-fiction book like, 
you have to, like, you can't just, like, tell me something and, like, I'm just gonna accept it. Like, I need, like, not proof. I mean, this book is obviously dealing with racism, so there's, it's hard to say, there's not ever, like, definitive, or there's not always definitive, like, this is how it should be done. Like, so I understand that not everything is gonna be a clear cut, but in the beginning, just some things, I was like, I'm not getting enough information to be like, yes, I'm 100% with you, but now in these later chapters, I feel that, I'm really enjoying it, I'm hearing what he has to say, I'm learning a lot now. I think before in the earlier chapters, I felt like I wasn't learning, I was just getting confused. So anyways, 50% of the way through, gonna listen to it more at work tomorrow and probably Saturday as well. And yeah, continue with Queen of Air and Darkness today and tomorrow. I'll probably read 100, page 100, page 100 pages each day. Um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but I have been reading Saga Volume 4. I've been reading one chapter a night, and like the chapters are super quick. But I just kind of want to like drag it out. Like why? Like I usually just read these in one sitting, but now I'm like, no. Like I want it to last. I want the story to go on forever. So I've just been reading one chapter a night, and... I love it so much. I love it so much. Like, this story just... I don't want to say it gets better and better and better because the beginning is fantastic, but it is still fantastic. I think it just gets better. And then it's not that it's, like, plateauing in a bad way. It's plateauing in a good way. Like, it's just staying this consistent, like, gold, you know? Yeah, I mean, granted, I'm only on volume four of, I think, nine. So, like, here's hoping it just keeps going up or just staying steady at fantastic. Definitely mature content. Also, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about what happened in the chapter I read last night. The second chapter in volume four. Shit. Shit. Volume one and, or volume one, chapter one ended on a cliffhanger. Sort of. Just like a little plot twist cliffhanger. Love that. And then chapter two was like sort of similar, but more so just a cliffhanger and I'm like I can't believe that just happened so loving this loving this loving the audiobook I'm listening to it has been a good past few weeks for me everything has just been great I haven't read anything bad since I attempted to pick up Anna K no tea no shade to Anna K I literally read one sentence and said nope but since that, I've loved every single book I've read. Next book I read is going to, like, blow up in my face, but whatever. Okay, that was my little update. I am probably going to try an update tomorrow. I have a lot to do, and a lot to do Saturday, and a lot to do Sunday, and uh, I don't want this to be the end of the reading vlog, but mm, we'll see. Hello, so it is Monday. I'm here to just quickly close out this reading vlog, and I just realized I'm not prepared to do that. BRB. So, I did update a few days ago. It's now Monday, but I updated in my car and I didn't realize that my AC was like blasting and then you couldn't hear me at all in the video. So, love that. Basically though, I finished How to Be an Anti-Racist. I really, really enjoyed it. I felt as though it was a good starting point. It's one of those things where, well, it's one of those books where each chapter kind of dives into a different part of racism, essentially, like a different type of racism, and how to kind of combat that. But I don't think it's one of those books where I could say, oh, I know everything now on this or on the subject in the book. It's just like one of those nice starting points to then learn more and yeah, you can never really be done learning about race topics and racism anyways. Yeah, it was just a good starting point. I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely recommending it to people. I recommended it to my mom already. After I finished How to Be an Anti-Racist, I had picked up All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. And back when I had updated, I had literally only just started it. And I was just mentioning that I love how the audiobook, the author puts in like trigger warnings for the book but also the audiobook because he himself is audibly like saying the n-word and the f-word and he's just like you know 
well, those aren't the only trigger warnings, but there is that specifically in the audiobook saying, like, if you're not comfortable hearing this, just, like, letting you know that it's there, and then also, like, don't be using these words if you do not identify as one of the groups of people that can use them, and I really appreciated that. I love that aspect of the audiobook. I feel like more audiobooks in general just need to just have their trigger warnings at the beginning, because if you don't need the trigger warnings, just listen to it and water under the bridge but if you do need the trigger warnings it is so helpful to have them there and I just love that. I only have like 30 minutes left in this audiobook and I love this book so much. I listened to it while at work on Saturday and I there were many times where I almost cried just like with other people around me just listening to my audiobook and I just I had to hold back the tears at some points because it can get emotional. Yeah, I'm not done with it yet, so I haven't fully, like, wrapped up my thoughts on it personally because I want to see, I want to kind of obviously finish the book before I really look back on my thoughts on it, but it's really good. I definitely recommend it, at least for the audiobook and the physical book, I'm sure, is a really quick read, but the audiobook is only, like, five hours, and then if you listen on two times speed, it's even quicker. Like I said, I haven't fully wrapped my head around the book yet, though, because I do want to finish it out and then kind of collect my thoughts on it, but just wanted to update you guys that I had picked that up, and then I have been reading Queen of Air and Darkness. I have been reading this pretty slowly, to be honest. It's been a kind of busy week. But I'm on chapter 16, which is the last chapter in the first part of this book. There are three parts, so almost done with that. Definitely need to finish this book this week, Ugh, because I'm reading Chain of Gold for the Reading Rush, which is next week, so wish me luck, please, because I still have that much left. And, I mean, I can easily do it. I just have to actually sit down and do it. I will get through it this week manifesting that energy into the week. <sighs> I also, oh, so obviously I did not finish Ghost of the Shadow Market because I still have to finish this before I can finish this, and I did listen to literally one chapter of Bone Crier's Moon on audio while I was cooking one night, and then I didn't listen anymore because I've just been focused on this, Queen of Air and Darkness, so this was kind of sad that I didn't read any more of this, but it will happen one day. It will. It will. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good day, evening, night, wherever it is that you are, and stay safe out there. I'll see you guys in my next one. Uh, I can't get my camera off.